And our next comic, welcome to the stage, Brian Ozens. <laughs> I'm just going to move this guy out of the way so you don't get us confused. <laughs> uh, my name is Brian, and I'm a perfect example of what happens if you don't let your kids play sports. So, <laughs> parents, uh, take note. This is actually my first time ever doing stand-up. Um, oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, and I have to say, I was really quite nervous. Uh, until someone phrased it to me like this, they said, Brian, stand-up is just trying to get someone to laugh at you as much as possible for five minutes. So I thought, okay, so it's like my other first time. Should be easy, <laughs> right? Uh, congratulations to everyone who did No Shave November. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this thing off my face. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm terrible at growing facial hair. The, the only beard in my life is my fiance. Um, <laughs> don't worry, we'll, we'll talk later. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm just joking though, she is, she is my best friend. Uh, I told her that recently and she went, aw, maybe we get you out of the house a little more often. <laughs> But it's tough, right? Because, you know, a lot of the times your friends are from high school and making friends in high school is really difficult. Especially when you graduated 12 years ago. They don't like when you just walk onto the school grounds like that. Uh. Um, so I got a dog instead. Uh, my dog is my friend. And uh, owning a dog, you learn a couple of things. For example, I learned what it feels like to pick up dog poop. Um, for those of you who haven't, you're not missing much. It's gross. You've got to bend down and grab it. And it's all warm and squishy. And you find the nearest trash can and throw it out. Pro tip that I learned later on, though, is if you use a poop bag, it's actually not so bad. <laughs> Everybody loves my dog, uh, you know, and, and I think it's making me a tad jealous. They, they put him up on a pedestal. They, they treat him like his shit doesn't stink when I can tell you it does. Uh, um, even with tricks, right? So if he plays dead, people lose their minds. It's revolutionary. If I play dead, I'm being overly dramatic and I ruin Thanksgiving again. So I'm not sure how that's fair. I think I want to have kids. I don't know, though, because I'm, I'm terrified of the, the horrible world that I'd bring, them, I'd bring them into if they inherited my nose. Um, I don't want to have to explain to my child, hey, don't stand still too long in elementary school, otherwise the other kids might try and hang their coats off your face. Because apparently that's something that happens. <laughs> I know! <laughs> Parents, take note again! Uh, um, I was bullied a lot in high school, but you already figured that out. I mean, <laughs> that was an easy puzzle for you to put together. Um, so I did a lot of reflection, though, after the fact, and, and I, I came to a realization that, you know what, those bullies back then, they were absolutely right. I was fucking annoying. <laughs> you know that kid who'd run down the hallways like an anime character? Yeah, I looked up to him. <laughs> I thought he was cool. <laughs> but don't worry, because... Popular kids and bullies like that, you know, who prioritize partying over, you know, being a decent human or, or getting an education, they end up exactly where we'd expect them to, as pretty successful real estate agents. <laughs> <laughs> which, which makes it tough because my parents would say, oh, don't worry, Brian, you'll never have to see these guys after high school, except any time I need to take the bus. Just photos everywhere. Um, I hate real estate listings. Hate them. The, the descriptions especially. You know, how can every single place be the one you've been dreaming of? You know, I'm pretty sure an $800,000 decrepit townhouse next to that 7-Eleven where a dude got stabbed is not a reoccurring dream of mine. But we had to get a place, and so we, we got into a, a, a family-friendly townhouse complex, which is, again, realtors speak for fucking loud. <laughs> Always. <laughs> I thought I wanted kids until we moved in. Now I just want a vasectomy and some earplugs. <laughs> I gotta say, the worst part about the townhouse complexes are the lack of blinds in the windows, you know? I don't want to see my neighbors making dinner when I'm masturbating, it's... <laughs> I really hope 
that everybody gets home safe tonight. Um, I noticed something, that different generations, they, they actually take different rideshare options. So Gen Zs, they'll take an Uber. Uh, Gen Xs and Millennials, they'll take a cab. And Boomers, uh, they'll just take the chance getting a DUI. <laughs> so thank you very much. Give it up for Brian Ozens, everyone. Sometimes comedy scares me because it's funny but true when I think about that DUI line, right? It's like, oh my God. 